Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about this little buddy here, the Aussie Air. Actually, I'm talking about what do I do first in the morning after an imaging session. And let me show you what are my first steps. Stay tuned. guys so here we are on my desktop uh, what I want to show you here is the interface of the Aussie Air Pro um, when I'm going to the imaging session I first have to go here to the SD card and then you see two storage settings SD card and USB drive um, I imaged on the SD card last night, so um, I could open the image management. But what I want to do is here, I go to the auto run and plan log. And what you see here is then a couple of files from each session. And uh, that was actually the last one I did. And here you now have plenty of information how your image session went. And uh, Always, if you see a, a sign like this, uh, you know there's something going probably wrong. So, um, but basically, you see um, start of the session. That's uh, Wolf Riot Star One Three Four. I wanted to image auto run start uh, at that time, close to ten in the evening, and then uh, finished at five o'clock in the morning. Turn off cooling, stop tracking, won't go home to position and shut down. That's all programmed, pre-programmed in the plan mode. That's all fine. Not now go into the details. So you open here on the cross, and now you see um, I had to put in the RA and deck access coordinates manually before. So uh, it looks. Um, at the moment it's waiting here and now here the session starts and uh, it goes to auto center and you see the mounts lose to the target position which I dialed in beforehand uh, with an exposure of five seconds because um, I use a uh, narrowband filter. Uh, then you see that the system plate solves. Solve is succeeded, that's first good information, counts the stars. That's plenty of them with an RC system. You usually have much less stars than an RC. Of course, the field of view is much smaller. And then you see also that something, I'm quite used to that, uh, too far from center, my first plate solve. And so it tries a second auto center step. And now you see uh, with a second auto center procedure, Again, it played solves and founds now uh, the correct position and now the target is centered and tracking gets started. So, and now um, you see it selects a guide star for, for auto guiding, starts guiding, guide settle, settle done. So all of this is fine. It's okay. Um, I gave them shooting information, 30 light frames, exposure, 300 seconds, bin one. It had to change the filter from L to H. So I, as I said, I'm, I'm imaging here narrowband. And now the tracking starts. And when the tracking starts, I also put in uh, autofocus system because, um, yeah, the session started almost close to midnight uh, when I would have done autofocus at 10 in the evening, 10 p.m. in the evening, um, I had to recorrect and so I let the system do it automatically and let's see how it went. Um, run autofocus before auto run starts, exposure 5 seconds, spin 1 temperature was announced here, that's the outside temperature at that time, find focus star, detect star size 5.7 that's the starting position of the uh, autofocuser. Um, and now it finds focus position, calculating the V-curve. Um, starts from a higher 
star size going down, going down, going down, going up again. And now in the second step, finding focus position, this went okay. It ends at 5.6, that's fine. Autofocus succeeded, focus position is almost identical with where it started, but that's fine for me. I know it did it in a proper way, so autofocus succeeded, and now the guide starts. And you see um, all the images are done, one, two, three, and so on. Um, if you look at the guiding, it gives you a couple of information. Reselect guide, star starts guiding, guiding settle, settle done. Um, if there is going something wrong, your guiding is not performed in a proper way and something went wrong. Probably clouds came in or your um, guide star was not properly aligned or there are a couple of reasons why your guiding is not, not working well. So, But in this case, the guiding worked and you can see that image three, four, five, six, seven, ten goes on, it goes on, it goes on until number 30. And now um, it changes from H to O. So filter change. And let's see how the guide goes on. And you see there is a problem here. Um, dither is enabled, dither settle is done, but settle timeout. So it, uh, it's, the settling was not finished. Um, when the timeout came. So I think I set a timeout of one minute or two minutes, something like this. And uh, if it's not done in that time, it gives you a settled timeout. So the problem could be that those images are not good. Here the same. Um, I think that continues, but I, when I look at the time, um, dawn is coming. Um, so the, the sun is, 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 is coming over the horizon very soon. So that's probably one of the reasons why my um, guiding is not, not working anymore. Um, so you know that something going wrong. And uh, if I go through this, I see already some, some marks here. I know after the filter change from O to S, um, yeah, guide star lost already. So setting failed. Um, I think I can uh, forget about these uh, images with uh, sulfur. Um, so basically, um, what I want to show you here is you get a lot of information out of this already. Um, I want to show you another example where I have um, um, where I have uh, Meridian Flip, I think it was here. Let's see, is here a Meridian Flip? No, it doesn't look like, probably it was another file. Here you have the Meridian Flip, in this case it succeeded. So it goes like Meridian flip start. And then <laughs> I'm used to that auto center failed in the first step. So it's loose to the target position with an exposure of five seconds, plate solves. Solving succeeds, but it then finds out it's too far from the center. And in the second step, it corrects that. And uh, you see solve succeeded, target is centered there. And though Meridian flip succeeded, um, that's not always the case, something it goes wrong. And uh, you wanna, of course, you wanna know before you look at your uh, proper images. That's actually what I'm doing. Um, I hope I could help you a little bit with what I'm doing here in the in the first step uh, after an imaging night session. Um, yeah, then I wish you all the best with your Aussie Air. Enjoy it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.